construct an ellipse using a concentric circle method. Step one is to establish the vertical and horizontal axis. A horizontal. Vertical axis to the center most part. Then we are to draw the circle in the dimensions are as follows AB seventy millimeters. So A to B is from the top line below, so it's seventy. So I need 35 millimeters. Okay, and then horizontal is 120, which is 60. Sixty. One. Once I have drawn or identified, I use now my compass. Want to set at the center point. Open to seventy first. Complete circle. Same center. We open to sixty now, which is the other dimension given. Draw a complete circle. Okay. After doing that, I now need to divide the circle into 12 equal parts. Previous knowledge. Then, after dividing the circle into 12 equal parts, I need to give a name to each of these points. So I'll use 5 millimeter guideline. Do not opt to um, draw the or write the numbers and then the guideline okay it's the other way around construction lines important that you don't press too much on the pencil all right so there we have 12 points we need now to label them This one is one. So 
and 11 now we are going to consider each of these points 1 2 4 5 7 8 11 and 10 under each we want to draw a vertical so we're gonna we're going to start from 1 join 1 to 5 vertical construction line join 2 to 4 move to 11 now slide to 11 join 11 to 7 join 10 to 8 okay so we have 1 2 3 and 4 so now from each of these points from the top we want to construct or we want to draw corresponding points we're going to start off from using point one okay we have this vertical so i need now to consider this point one here and i want to draw a horizontal line now from this um, point sorry then from number two number four number five number seven eight ten and eleven okay so those will be my reference points so if i use my t-sphere i can draw a horizontal from point eleven to meet that vertical point one to meet that vertical so i have like a four created like a four Okay, then these points 2 and 10 I use my my D square and I draw a horizontal to meet 10 and I draw horizontal to meet 2 okay in a similar manner 8 and 4 we draw horizontal to meet 8 and the same process for 4 okay then the last would be 2 and seven okay so the, the points that we have obtained would be reference points a point where one intersects vertical two with this point horizontal with b two again this uh, joins to four and then is this point so it's where the horizontal and vertical intersect for each of these corresponding points point six vertical horizontal vertical sorry horizontal and vertical meet here and then vertical horizontal vertical horizontal and back again at a that is the drawing required okay so the last thing to do is to join these points these need to be done um, freehand do not use no straight edge do not use the protractor I have seen some using the edge of the protractor setting and trying to join do not do that this is done freehand okay so we take um, somewhere around in the middle don't take it from the tip very difficult to set up so we take it from the center most part and then we want to start joining the points okay you want to do an outline you can go ahead but because of practice i will go directly to darkening these
and we want to join 9 to A let me join 6 to uh, D join also in if you need to okay, practice makes perfect here I need to stand in order to do this okay there we go and this is the required ellipse using the concentric circle method so below we use five millimeter guideline And you write by concentric circle method. Again, some students are submitting work without, without a board or a title box and it is mandatory. I don't do it here in the videos because it will take more time and sometimes because of the size of the video it is very challenging for it to be uploaded. Okay, So just ensure that you follow the procedures. So this is the construction of an ellipse using the concentric circle okay so thank you